taking you so long? Well, the problem is hard. <laughs> I said, well, maybe you're all just too stupid. Have you consider that? No, they don't consider that because we don't think of ourselves that way. We don't denigrate ourselves when we have the choice not to. We don't do that as individuals, nor do we do it as species. You can buy a book in the bookstore that says, Optical Illusions. Who doesn't like a good optical illusion? But what should that book really be titled? Brain Failures. That's what that should be called. It's a simple line drawing in your brain. Oh my gosh, what am I looking at? I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh. And we, we have fun with it without recognizing the truth of the matter. They are brain failures. So, I want to say that maybe you're just all too stupid. You have to wait for the smart person to be born who will actually figure this out. They're not really going there. They want to claim that the problem is so hard that it actually requires the full, cog you know, the full armament of all some of those brilliant people we got going here. And I ask myself, suppose they had put their intellectual capital to other problems in science. How far, how much farther would we have gotten than for them just to keep telling me that they're two years away? So. I don't prevent them from doing their work. I'm just not a big champion of the cause anymore. I don't prevent them because they're relatively cheap to keep going. You get a pencil, a pad, throwing a laptop. They're good to go. You know, they're not competing for funding for the Hubble telescope or the rest of this. So, so and plus it's the only game in town. Do you, do you think CERN will answer any questions? I think CERN will answer the question. Um, uh, could possibly, it's looking for a dark matter particle. I don't think it's quite there at the energies that the string theory people need. They need energies commensurate with all the energy of all the stars in the galaxy. We're not quite there yet, I don't think. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to end with my reflection on intelligence. So, maybe the string people are just too stupid. They won't admit that. We define ourselves as intelligent. We humans. Okay, and, and I don't mind doing that. You can define it in such a way that no other animal comes close. You can say, intelligence is the ability to do abstract reasoning and mathematics and artwork and, and music and, uh, and we compose symphonies and build the Hubble telescope. Okay. So let's do a following thought experiment. What species comes closest to human beings genetically. Chimpanzees. Of course. So we have, last I checked, about 93, 94% identical DNA in common with a chimp. It turns out I don't have to reference a chimp for this example. I could use a dog. It actually doesn't matter for the point I'm making. But let's use a chimp because it's a commonly invoked animal for this comparison. So what is a chimp capable of? You go to primatologists, they wheel forward their smartest chimp. And what can that smart chimp do? It combines some hand gestures into sort of a new concept, maybe. All right, and it could put a stick in a termite mound and get termites out. It'll put up an umbrella. It'll stack boxes to reach a banana. Look how smart that chimp is. Well, our toddlers do that. Toddlers. All right. Well, how is it that there could be such a difference in our cognitive intellectual abilities, yet there's such a small difference in our DNA, between our DNAs? The typical reply to that is, well, what a big difference that makes. Once again, that's hubris. I'm going to propose a different explanation. I'm going to suggest to you that maybe the difference in our intelligences is as small as the difference in our DNA. You might say, how is that possible? We built the Hubble telescope. They're sticking to put sticks in termite mounds. Maybe the difference between the Hubble telescope and the termite mount is not very much. Well, who might ever think that? You know who would think that? A species that is as intelligent compared to us as we are compared to the chimp. Imagine a species that's 7% DNA smarter than us. What would we look like to them? We would be boat. 
drooling, blithering idiots in their presence. Because we would only be capable of things their toddlers do. They would roll the smartest among us in front of their conferences. That maybe that's Stephen Hawking. <laughs> roll it. So oh, look at this one. This one can do astrophysics calculations in his head. He's a little bit smarter than the rest of them. Isn't that cute? Oh, no, Junior did that this morning in, in elementary school. Isn't that cute? We put pasta collages on our door. A monkey could surely make a pasta collage. What do they put on their door? So their infants will put sonnets on the refrigerator door. They'll re-derive calculus. They will do symphonies. They will type novels. They will do stuff that the most talented among us can do. But they'll do it as toddlers. And when you are, it's not hard to imagine. Because you just extend chimps to us, we to this new species. So in the presence of that species, the Hubble telescope is some trivial school exercise that looks no different to them from chimps stacking boxes in a room. Any more than any of us dwell on, well, which smart, what's smarter, a, a guppy or a goldfish? You know, maybe one of them really is smarter than the other, but we don't care. Because we are so much smarter than the both of them that worrying about the difference between them is irrelevant to us. So I worry that there may be problems and questions in the universe that are simply beyond our intellectual capacity to know. And I lose sleep over that, because I don't want that to be true. I want to believe that we're smart enough to figure it out. But what are the chances that the only smart species in the history of the world is smart enough to figure that out? Maybe we're just simply not that smart. Maybe we're not visited by aliens because they're so much smarter than us, why do they care? <laughs> You don't walk by an ant mound and say, gee, I wonder what they're thinking today. <laughs> let me ask, let me try, let me try to work this one. You know, you just walk on by. You don't even pay, you don't care. So I'm not so quick to assert that human beings are some measure of intelligence. And I lose sleep over that, and I want you to lose sleep over it too. <laughs> Thank you all. For your <laughs>